I need a hair tie. <laughs> I'm not walking around like this. Look at the beautiful atmosphere. <laughs> oh, there's a nice white lady. I literally was walking by this hair salon, turned my head and said, hey, why don't I get my hair done? Walked in and we did it. She asked me what I wanted done and I told her I wanted blue black hair. We looked at the blue black colors and literally jumped right into it. She had no hesitation. She didn't even look at me weird. She didn't ask me any questions. She was just like, oh, let's go, let's go. She's super confident in her own abilities and I love that. And when I said, can you do my hair? She looked at me weird and she was like, yes. So she put the blue black hair dye in and then I waited for 60 minutes and she started to wash it out. My hair is super long, as you can see. <laughs> and it started to curl and she then started to see my hair texture because when i walked into the store my hair was straight so she didn't see my curls until obviously she started washing the hair dye out and i think she started to get a little bit nervous because the washing process took a long time and she didn't use conditioner which scared the crap out of me because i'm like how is she going to detangle and my curls don't come back full swing unless I condition and she dyed my hair and didn't put conditioner and I was just like how is this going to turn out um because my hair was just dyed and um my curls really 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 look nice and juicy and not that I'm leaving my hair curly but it just I just need a conditioner and she didn't put it in but hey I asked her to do my hair so then she started to blow dry my hair and I could tell she got more and more confident as time went on. When she first started blow drying my hair, she was like in limbo. She didn't know what she was doing. Then she got the, the hang of it and she's like, okay, I know, I know. And my hair looks terrible because there was no conditioner put in it. So I was scared. I was like, it doesn't look like this when I do it. But this was over two weeks ago and I've done my hair again since then and my curls came back because I put conditioner in it and let it sit and I did a deep conditioning treatment and all that but yeah so she just was blow drying my hair it took her about one hour and she was exhausted so you see in a minute she comes and asks for help but again I don't blame her I have a lot of hair and she even said several times she's never done anyone's hair who has this much hair I have a lot of hair on my head When someone in Japan pulls their mask down, you know they are exhausted. She pulled her mask down, which they never do here. They never take off those masks. But she said she couldn't breathe. She's like, I'm so tired. She's like, you have so much hair, it's so thick. And she's like, it never takes me longer than 10 minutes to blow dry someone's hair. So yeah, she was exhausted, but again and again, I'm not expecting her to know how to do my hair. That's kind of why I did the video, you know what I mean? Um, but I am I'm so grateful that she tried, you know, and she was giving it everything. And yeah, she did need a little help. <laughs> But um, yeah, and it was relaxing as you could see. I was super relaxed because she was super gentle and it didn't feel, uh, didn't hurt. Felt good, felt really nice because I never have anyone do my hair. Since I've been an adult, I've had my hair done professionally four times exactly. This is the fourth time. So yeah, she gave it everything. I'm happy that she tried and it, not even tried, she was successful as you can see, my hair is blow dried.
beautiful atmosphere right outside the uh, hair salon guys this is what i'm working with mm. do we love it do we love it i need a hair tie <laughs> i'm not walking around like this but then again it's really soft i just need to go fix the straighten i just need to straighten it but it's softer than i usually get my own hair so i don't know what to do like my the front of my hair is so I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail. I'll try. Cause I have to walk back to the hotel. You know, and I don't want to look crazy. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm almost at the hotel though. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, you guys, so I just hit my hair. I ran the straightener through it, and I have to say, my hair looks bomb, okay? Uh, my hair looks beautiful. Uh, it looks beautiful, and when I tell you, it's so soft like oh my gosh I never get my hair this soft I'm trying to like remember everything she did she used the good shampoo and conditioner she didn't use conditioner actually on my hair she just used shampoo they don't really use conditioner here in Japan I guess as common as uh, we do in the States she didn't use conditioner, but she just she dyed my hair blue-black, and then she put, uh, she shampooed it, and then she washed it out, and she blow-dried my hair, and then she, let's not even say she straightened it, because she really didn't. She didn't know how to straighten. But, oh my gosh, my hair looks absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. And she gave me a little trim, but it's still really long. It still touches my tailbone. And I'm just. Oof. I mean, yeah, I did have to come back here and hit it with the straightener myself, but. Like, I cannot penalize her for that. She never has to do anyone's hair like mine, so I actually like what she did. Oh, and they're beyond nice there. They're way too nice, and I'm obsessed with my hair, so I give her an A for effort, and I give her an A for my hair looking this beautiful. I couldn't have done this. Mm -mm. My hair's oh it's so pretty so uh you guys know that everyone here or you don't know but or maybe you do but it's very popular here in japan to wear kimono and there i'm in kyoto so everyone's in a kimono um i'm wondering you guys should i wear a kimono for 24 hours I think that would be absolutely hilarious seeing me in a kimono. Uh, if you want me to do a video wearing a Japanese kimono around Japan for 24 hours, I do not want to do that. <laughs> then like this video. If this video has 10,000 likes, then I will film that video. 
um, but only if it has 10,000 likes. Like, I'm not going to film that video if it doesn't have 10,000 likes because it's not enough of an incentive for me to do that because it's going to be horrific for me. I don't want to wear the Japanese kimono. I think the women here look beautiful in them, but me, I wouldn't, I, it's a different story, all right. But I would wear one around, and it's very hard to walk in. You're wearing flip-flops with socks, and they wrap it really tight, and you can't really move your feet too much, so it's going to be extremely difficult. And I'm sure I'm going to get stared at and get looks, and I'll do regular stuff like going to eat, <laughs> going to, I don't know, do stuff for 24 hours in a kimono. So if you think I should do that video, then... Yeah, this video if it gets 10,000 likes I'll do the video uh, right come on around Japan oh gosh okay but thanks so much for watching the video you guys and I'm happy with the results can't lie my hair looks bomb <laughs>